Hi everybody. So I have really slept on the job with this particular haul. It is small and I was hoping I would be able to get some of the shadows, oops, excuse me, before I did this, but it was gonna take forever. Obviously, if you can say it with me, Gucci. Gucci has come out with the makeup. <laughs> And it's pretty amazing so far. I have swatched the shadows and I really like them, but most of them are shimmery and God knows I don't need another freaking shadow. So um, I posted this pro probably about a week or so ago on Instagram and told you guys I was gonna do the video immediately. And of course that did not happen because life always happens. So I apologize for the delay, but I have a few things I'm gonna show you and I hope that you appreciate them and can just enjoy the situation with me. This is of course my recent. <laughs> I'm sorry, my throat, <laughs> my receipt. <laughs> Actually, these aren't too bad. Uh, the pricing, and I'll, I'll explain the pricing as we go through it, is not too bad. I got these from the Gucci store exclusively. I think they also sell this at Neiman Marcus, depending on where you live. I got two liners, three lipsticks, two glosses, and a nail polish. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, starting with the liner. So I got two liners. I got Imperial Red and Lush Maroon. Now I know they both are two forms of red, but the Lush Maroon actually comes off like a brown on me. So I'm gonna show you, this is the Imperial Red. And I swatched this stuff in the store, guys. I actually am just kind of doing this exclusively for you all right now. Um, I didn't wanna touch them because everything was so pretty. Anyway, so this is Imperial Red. The liners come with a gorgeous little brush on them. I love how fine tip that is actually. And then here's the liner itself. This is Imperial Red. Make sure I'm in focus there. Love that. And you'll see why I chose the ones that I chose. This is Lush Maroon when you see the colors that I chose. See how that's more of a brown on me? It's like a mahogany almost. It's gorgeous. So. It, it's gonna move across the board a little bit with the lip colors I chose. And these are the liners. The liners are actually $32 a piece, guys, just so that helps a bit in the pricing situation. Next I got two of Gucci Lips Vibrant Demi Glaze Lip Lacquer. That's exactly what they're called, lip lacquers. As you can see, um, they have this wonderful Gucci signature, if you will, <laughs> on the tops. Two colors I got are Antique Ruby. This is Antique Ruby and burnt cinnamon. This is so gorgeous. This was ridiculous in this store. This is so gorgeous. And they do have doe fit applicators on it. This is Antique Ruby, look at that. Insane. And this is burnt cinnamon. It's a beautiful nude. God knows I can't live without a nude. There are, are I wanna say, about half of the amounts of these, maybe 12 to 16 lip lacquers, and there's about 30 different lipsticks to choose from. Next I have a nail polish. This is a Gucci nail polish, of course, I'm not gonna put this on. Uh, the nail polish is $29. It also has the beautiful Gucci signature. I'm gonna stop saying that, I swear. And on top of the lid as well, the nail polishes are actually $29. And this one is called Black Gold, so it's got the double um, lid on the inside, just so you can see. I just thought that was gorgeous. I love dark colors too. Um, if you're wondering, this is actually a next gen powder because I know somebody's gonna ask about my nail color. I only got one of these. Actually, I don't really need a lot of nail polish to be honest. So I was struggling to kind of find something that looked unique in the store uh, just for the sake of, you know, kind of trying it. But this is pretty gorgeous. This is right on time for me. And finally, we have the lipsticks, guys. So this is kind of the um, ultimate, ultimate of the collection. When I first heard about Gucci's makeup, this is what I was told about first. It was the lipsticks. I was seeing people wearing the lipsticks. I wasn't aware of the liners and the bronzers and, and the shadows. And there is a collection. There's no foundation, but there is actually a collection. So please go down and enjoy it. I am actually pretty impressed with a lot of it. I just don't need a lot of it. So I made it a point as usual to try to get things that actually stood out to me or things that I knew I'd actually get good use out of. Like a brown liner, I'm gonna use, especially when it has a brush. A red vampy liner, I'm gonna use, that type of thing. So I hope that you find these colors are just absolutely gorgeous. I swatched them in the store. I am only swatching them now for you guys. I have not even taken them out of the boxes since I purchased them until this very moment. So with that said, 
This one is called Bitter Grape, and you'll see that they all have that Gucci logo on the inside and all around the capsule of the lipstick. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Not a reason why you should buy a lipstick. I firmly believe you should buy a lipstick because you like it, because it works, uh, etc., etc. I appreciate the pigment in these lipsticks because of the price being a higher price point, although not the highest. It is right online, in line with Burberry, and it is cheaper than Tom Ford for you, those of you that are Tom Ford fans. So, this is Bitter Grape. Gorgeous. Oh, you see how I'm doing that right on the side, right? Because I don't want to touch it. <laughs> don't laugh, guys. Don't laugh. Oh my God, it's so pretty. That is gorgeous. The next color is Cypria. It's a gorgeous nude. Truly, truly, truly a nude. Um, almost a... It's hard to tell on camera and I apologize. It's got a hint of... I want to say what we call like sepia. Grayish tone to it. So you can see where I kind of chose that to pair with this, with the burnt cinnamon. And finally, Imperial Red. This is also, yes, it's called Imperial Red, just like the liner. Let me swatch that for you. Oh, that wasn't a very good job. But still gorgeous. I've seen this on people too. Um, it's all about how you penetrate the liner with this one uh, to make it more vampy. Just gorgeous. And that, guys, is my Gucci collection. I know it's small, but this is a pricey collection to start off with. So I just wanted to share it with you and kind of give you my thoughts. I am absolutely impressed with this line. Um, you guys know, to me, it is not all, all about the money spent on a product that determines its worth, if you will. This is a personal kind of a luxury line, if you will. Um, with that said, I hope you guys find that this information is helpful, and I will see you guys on the next go-round. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!